in most cases, the organisms in our food get mashed around in the mouth, then hit the roller coaster that takes them rapidly into our stomach. The stomach is not a particularly inviting place. Acid is produced in large quantities when we eat. This helps to protect our body and to break down food, and it kills many bacteria that we ingest, including many of the milk fermenters present in dairy products. However, some bacteria, such as these probiotic lactobacilli and bifidobacteria, can survive the acid by having a protective shield, shown here as a halo. This protection can be provided by milk and food, or by leaving the stomach rapidly with the liquid part of the meal. More than half of the world's population, and especially people in Asia, have a bacterium called Helicobacter pylori living in their stomach. Some strains of this bacterium are pathogenic. They're acquired from several sources, including contaminated water. This bacterium can burrow into the walls of the tissue and produce urease and toxin that damages cells, causing painful ulcers and sometimes cancer. Antibiotic treatment can cure some cases of helicobacter colonization, but in others, the bacteria either resist the killing or return again once the treatment is over. Probiotic bacteria may help in the reduction of these helicobacter, perhaps by attacking them with antibiotic-like weaponry called bacteriocins or dislodging them. However, more research is needed to understand this process, while clinical trials will help determine which patients may benefit from ingesting certain types of probiotic bacteria. The dead organisms, along with the probiotic bacteria and surviving fermenter microbes, move towards the intestine, where they come into contact with bile salts, which kill many of the milk fermenter microbes. Many probiotic bacteria can resist these harmful effects, and so they survive and continue their journey. The next stage takes the bacteria down through tissue tunnels into the small intestine. This region of the body is usually over 30 feet or 9 meters in length. It has structures called villi and microvilli, which absorb nutrients from food and form a major defense against disease. The small intestine is home to billions of bacteria, the microbiota, including bifidobacteria and lactobacilli, which play a critical role in keeping us healthy through degrading food, counteracting bad bacteria, and modulating the immune response. Many questions need to be studied, such as what types of bacteria live here, how they communicate with each other and influence the way we feel, as well as whether probiotics can prevent or alleviate certain diseases.